Up until the end of 2017, this isolated fishing village in western Madagascar had no access to electricity. Yolanda and her grandchildren used oil lamps as their light source. First, there wasn't enough light. We couldn't work properly. And then the smoke made us sick. The children did not stop coughing, and they had blackened nostrils. Today, nearly 200 homes are equipped with solar panels, and it is Yolanda and three other women from the village who install and repair the equipment, a skill acquired in India where they were trained as solar technicians. When we left, I was a little scared because we didn't know this country. What impressed me most were the lights. Oh, it was really dazzling to see all those lights in India. We had lights on all the time, non-stop. The fan ran all day long, as did the electricity. There was no power failure. The program has changed the lives of the villagers, who can now continue to study, work or cook in the evenings. Solar energy can also help increase security. There have already been two deaths here. They were shot dead. That's why we wanted to install outside lighting to see the bandits from afar and be able to escape in time or prepare. By 2030, the project plans to supply 630,000 households with solar energy, a big step forward for a country where 94% of the population is still without electricity.